can we clap hands for the servant of God? Yes, clap hands, clap hands, clap hands for the servant of God. He's worthy to be praised and he's worthy to be lifted high. frustrated in prayer then you stop enjoying your Christianity even your quality time with yourself remember it's not how much activity but it's the time that you invest the quality time that you invest making sure that your relationship with God is solid not even people your own relationship with God is solid. God does not mind what we do for him, but he minds the relationship because the type of relationship that you have with God will be evident, the type of relationship that you have with people. As long as you do not have the time for your relationship with God, then you are not going to be able to retain relationships.
I am looking at Naomi. I'm looking at Ruth. Liver, liver, liver. Out, out, out! Jesus, you're back on the floor. Out, out, out! So if you do not invest your quality time. God does not mind what we do for him, but he minds the quality time that we individually, because that's where the fruit is. Christianity is personal. It's not a group. Now you must cultivate the time to have quality time. I know you are praying for something, but this week is going to happen. You must have quality time with God. Tell neighbor, neighbor, God does not mind what we do for him. He minds what you do with your time. Because if you don't spend time with God, forget about the life you're trying to pray for. Because it's waiting for your relationship with God. We should be in good standing personally with God so that he can trust you with what you're asking for. I am looking at Naomi. I am looking at Ruth. I am looking at Opa. You see the people that were lying here, the three? One is Naomi, one is Ruth, one is Opa. But the difference amongst them is the relationship that one has, each one of them has with God. If you want to be exclusive in the things of the Spirit, spend time with God, not people. Because if you don't have time to spend with God, then your attitude will not change. Now your attitude it determines your altitude, financially, physically, relationship, every area of your life, how high you will go, the attitude towards God. Now, when you hear Jesus, what comes to your mind? Now, we get so accustomed, we can't even get to where God wants us to be because we have limited ourselves with what we think we know. But God says, I want somebody who is thirsty, who is not going to have alternatives, who has reached a cult de sac, who's going to tell God, if you do not come through for me, Bazongega. I have no other option. That's what he's saying, the pastor. No option. Ruth had no reason sticking around Noami. He could, she, she could have gone and did her own. Yes. But Opa left the grace. As long as we have alternatives, we are going to think the prayers that we have made, the crying, the fastings that we have made are lost. And when somebody starts getting frustrated, they lose focus. Yes. If you see somebody becoming defensive, cheeky, unhappy, sad, the demons are feasting on you because you don't have time with God. It's not even witchcraft. It's the utilization of time. How do we use our time? Ruth, no one says, but Ruth, my husband is dead. My children are dead. Please go. She says, no, where you are going, I will go with you. Your people will be my people. For you to have a revelation of your destination, what is your end? You must have quality time with who? God. How do you have quality time with God? You spend time with you. We are very good at giving time to other people, but we don't give ourselves time. Now, if you don't have time to pray, time to fast, time to thank God, time to notice the things that God has done, what you have, what money can't buy, that's where the wealth is. Having people that love you. Having things that no money can, by having the peace. But it doesn't just come. Discouragement is a spirit. It sits under a week and a two-piece and it hides. Still never. Uh -oh. it sits under nice makeup. But if somebody is discouraged, the first thing they stop doing is praying. It sits under from mukuku to a double story and it hides there. 
because it's a spirit. Now, if you don't have time to say, thank you, Lord, I count my blessings one by one. Some of the things like health, no money. Some of the things like parenting, no money. Some of the things like having an address to belong somewhere. Now you find people who are so petty. No, it's because you don't pray. It's because those are Armenian signs to tell you, hey, there is a relationship that is neglected. He's still God. He's still the same God. Find a way of worshiping God for who he is in your life on your own and trust him. On your own. Now we want to be solid. When you are a solid Christian, we're talking solid. Thick foundation. Your skin is in the game. You tell God, if you don't come through, they're going to laugh at me. They're going to laugh at me. I don't have any other alternative. That's why Ruth says, wherever you go, no I will go with you, even if it doesn't make sense. Now, Ruth had the revelation of what God had for him through Noam. It is women's month. Do you know who your Noam is? Because if you follow somebody because of following and you do not have the revelation where they are taking you to. It was very clear. Ruth says, I'm going nowhere even if there's nothing to follow. But wherever you go. Now we need this kind of women that take people somewhere. Not destructive women. Your conversations must be solid. Your life must be rooted. Your focus must be stable. Your determination must be vast. You should know who you are. Because a leader is no leader without followers. But the followers have got a bargaining power to know what they are following. That needs self-leadership before you look at other people. Now, do you know, Happy Women's Month, do you know who your Noami is? Because for men and for women. Because if God can reveal to you, why am I with prophetess? What is God? Show me my end. Some of your attitude will change. You need to ask him to show you your end. There's a very lady with a blue shirt. She's very keen. <laughs> with a <the> black mask. <laughs> Whatsoever thing that stands before you and God. I'm also talking about the promises that you know God said. But it's like a mirage. As you see it, it's going further. As you see, yes! In Jesus' name. It's the, 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 you go forward five steps, ten steps back. Now people don't say it's like a mirage. You see it, but you don't get to it. Why? Because your heart has got no time for God. It's got time for issues. Issues that are not beneficial to anyone. Why can we not focus and worship God? Lord, we want more of you. More of you in our businesses. More of you in our calling. More, no, more of you in our academic works. Whatever thing that we touch. my Naomi. I want to know where should I stay? Whom should I follow? I want to know who will help me to look further than what I'm looking at. I want to know who will show me the difference before and after and tell me what is to come. Those are the prophets we are seeking for. And they're still here. God 
God is still trying to find somebody to use. Yes! Yes! You're still here. He's just looking for one. He's still looking. He says he's gone. He's opened churches. He's got so many people. But he's looking for uniqueness. For power. The power of God that will separate men from God. The power of God that will make the Holy Spirit flow. The power of God that will break every yoke. I'm talking about the living God. Your situation will change if it has not changed already. But I thank you for each and every soul that is here. People who are here want assurance. As long as I am breathing, I will choose you. I will be your Naomi. But unfortunately, I can't choose my Ruth. It will be revealed to Ruth. Where I will not only lead you to spirituality, but expansion, wealth, Knowledge of God, wisdom of God, contentment, fulfillment. Now these things don't just happen. That is why when Ruth made up his, her mind to follow Naomi, Naomi first told her, you must wait, bring him here. You must wait for, Noah, for, for boys to call you. You must wait because there are women who are saying, I'm done with relationships. God is going to give you a second chance. The women who are crying, the women who have experienced, I don't even want to explain it. Leave him, it's fine. Leave him down, sure. It's fine. There are women here who have been crying, not only for business, for work, but you lose hope in yourself and your confidence is tarnished because you have never experienced how it feels to be loved. You are always giving out. Now God comes and he says, Noemi and Ruth, Noemi says, there are ways of talking to this Boaz. Boaz is not only a partner. Boaz can be a business. Boaz can be a calling. Yes, it's happening. Let loose. Boaz can be anything that you aspire. You have seen it. But the closer you get, the further it becomes. Now, Naomi, with her wisdom, is sharing the wisdom with Ruth. She says, don't be on the radar. Humble yourself. He will call you. Don't be pronounced. The tallest tree gets the hardest wind. That's why people of substance speak less. We see them by their fruit. No, no, Naomi is sharing insight, wisdom, knowledge with Ruth. You must wash your face. Now you are in the environment of Boaz, environment of new business, environment of new social circle, environment of new opportunities. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. But wash your face. Now when you wash your face, it means you are walking in the new norm. You are not going to do things the way you are doing them. You are not going to speak the way you are speaking. You are not going to places that you are going to. It's newness. Wash your face. Anything that is of the past, let it step aside. Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. Something new is coming. Wash your face in the mighty name of Jesus. Ruth can also be a man. He will hear amongst the group. When you wash your face, you forget about old, good or bad or ugly. Wash your face. Not only that, Noam is asking Ruth, Ruth, please, don't only wash your face. Anoint your garment. Garment is not kadushi. It's not Louis Vuitton. It's not fashion. It's not how we look. It's the attitude. Ruth, you are getting into a new space. Change your attitude. Because you are very good with dealing with external. 
that's not the extent. What she is asking her, that's how you anoint your garment. This thing is coming to you because it's your time. But let not your attitude hinder your altitude. If you receive anything that you are not prepared for, you'll abuse it. It's easy to receive. Excuse me. If you receive anything that you are not prepared for, including anointing, if you are not ready, because things are going to happen, tell neighbor, nine is the ninth month we are birthing big things. So we only have one week. You're back on the floor. We only have one week to find closure in our pending issues. The ninth month we will be giving birth, September. All the things that were written in diaries, all the things that were thought and not spoken about, all the aspirations, September. But only to those who have washed and also anointed their garments. Help him, please. Do you understand? Only those washed, washed the face. I'm not talking about my past. I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I don't have jealous. I don't have complications. I don't think I'm better. Look. Oh my God. There's a lady there. She's wearing a mask. Last row. God, give her. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. When your face is washed, it means you are only left with optimism, positivity, focus. You got no time to entertain any petty issues because you have seen the greatness of God. Now, if you don't wash your face, you can pray. In this, it's the same. You have not, we are not talking about color mind here. We're not talking about foundation. We're not talking about eyelashes. We're talking about the issue of the heart and the condition of the mind. You have wiped your heart drive. You are new. You only think the thoughts of God. You only say what God speaks. You only talk about the goodness. If you want to progress, you wash your face of the things that don't edify you. We have to be solid Christians. Solid meaning worryless. <laughs> Pure. God has done it, my brother. I will see you after church. Okay? Clap hands for this, brother. Don't forget to tie. God is doing it now. He's doing it. Two things you're asking. Where are the ashes? He's doing it. Two things that he's been asking. His health and a breakthrough. God is doing it. He's got a problem with his intestine. God is doing it. I don't know him, but God is doing it. He's going to restore it. There are things that no money can buy. Though we only look at tangible things. The fact that you are walking freely. You don't have a ventilator on your side. You know where you are going from here. You have children. You're going to an office. Some of these things, you wake up, feel your legs. Ask God, humble me, Lord. To worship you. So I'm praying for each and every one of you. The word was good. It's just now for you to water it. Because if you don't trust in God, you can't spend time with God. Yes, you only make time for what you believe in. You only do. That's why with tithe also it's a problem. People only do what they believe not what they say. Now, if you don't believe in something, you don't do it. Now, if you don't trust in God, you're not going to spend time with him. If you don't trust in tithes, you're not going to tithe. If you don't trust in prayer, you're not going to do it. If you don't trust in fast, 
You can't say, hi, we're eating your fast. Barry, we shall see you by your fruit. The fruit is enough. All of us can say what we say. But the fruit, the true God. Now you have to start trusting God, believing God, and having a personal relationship. If the day goes by without opening the Bible, please ask God to give you a running time so that you remember. <laughs> it's a problem. Because the devil, did you hear the scripture? Is waiting, seeking whom? Agazingama pondo, uzanya attitude, uzanyama lips. Do you see how little this thing is? That's why some of the people are buried. What they said cost them a curse that took them to the grave. Now you have to be a solid Christian. When I say solid, your foundation must be thick, your skin, your love your perception, your desires, it must be in the game of God. Otherwise, you'll be substituted.